YouTube for all honeybees in Virginia. Hi, Miss McIntyre's first grade class. I'm a beekeeper, and today we're going to talk about honeybees. This is a suit I wear. It protects me from honeybees. Honeybees can sting, although usually they're very gentle. But just for protection, you should never handle honeybees unless you're in one of these suits. If you see a honeybee, don't step on it. Don't try to kill it. Just leave it alone. Honeybees are very beneficial. This is a tool the honeybee keepers use. It's smoke. This helps me get into the beehive. Come on over here and let's see the hive. The bees live in this box. Mama, that's what? Mommy, that's what? Yes. What's Daddy doing? Inside the honeybee box, are these are called frames. This is what honeybees put their wax on and build homes so they can have more bees and store honey. Inside each box are 10 frames. This is a honeybee frame that I pulled from our honeybee hive. As you can see, the bees are being very active on, the, on this frame. Down on the dark spots, all those little holes is, are where they're going to put other bees. The queen will have bees. On the top here where it looks very white is where they store their honey. And that's what bees eat. And that's the honey that you and I will eat. Inside the hive, there's three types of bees. There's a queen bee. There's only one queen. And she lays all the eggs. There's drones that help the queen have bees. And there's also worker bees. They're the ones that do all the construction. They're the ones that go out and get all the food and bring it back. Honeybees are very important to everybody. It's very important that when you see a honeybee, you just leave it alone. Don't try to kill it. It's not going to bother you. If you leave it alone, it's going to leave you alone. Honeybees are very important for the environment. They pollinate, which means they help grow all the vegetables that you and I eat. Tomatoes, cucumbers, cherries, peaches, apples, all those trees are pollinated by bees. So if we didn't have bees, we wouldn't have any of those fruits and vegetables. So bees, bees are very, very important. So bees are our friends. Daddy, and also peaches? Peaches too, Daddy? Peaches too. What's daddy doing? <laughs> What's the smoke for? Do you guys know? Daddy, what is the smoke for? 
bees communicate by smell. That's their most important sense. So when bees are talking, they do it with smell. They will release a chemical called a pheromone to let the other bees know what's going on. They may release a chemical that says, hey, come over here, there's food over here. Or they may release a chemical that says, hey, there's an intruder to the hive, we need to be careful. So when I put the smoke, it masks that smell so they can't communicate, so it doesn't, they don't know that there's an intruder coming into their hive to work the hive. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any questions for Daddy? Daddy, how do bees communicate? Bees communicate with smell, a chemical called a pheromone. They release a little chemical, a smell that the other bees smell, and it means many things. It can mean come get food, or it mean come over here for safety, or it can mean the queen is over here, or it could mean there's danger. You need to come away over here or, or protect the hive. Do you guys Good have question. any? Bees sleep for about five hours a day, just like you and me. After a long day of work, they'll come back to their hive and go to sleep. And then, what, what happens when they, when they need to go to the bathroom? They potty just like you and I do. But where? Right in their home, and it falls just to the bottom. And then, Out of their home. And then, when they don't poop and pee, there's water on the bottom going to catch the poop. And it goes away, that's right. And it also goes stale or heal. That's right. Daddy, yep. what happens if you step on a bee? Well, hopefully you don't have to step on a honeybee because a honeybee won't sting you unless she feels like she really needs to. Honeybees don't attack people. They only sting in self-defense. So when a bee stings, it feels like it's being threatened. No, Daddy, what happens if you step on a bee? Well, the more bees you step on, the less we have and the less vegetables we have. So you got to be real careful not to hurt honey. Are you asking about the stinger? What happens when the stinger? Well, sometimes when you get stung, you need to go tell your mom and dad if you get stung. And uh, they can help you get the stinger out. There's a little bit of pain for a little bit, but it's not usually very bad. And then what happens at Mimi's house, a, a bee stings to me and then... And it didn't really hurt that bad, did it? Yeah. Okay. Daddy, do our bees do our bees make honey? Our bees do make honey. That is their. Uh, that's why we call them honey bees. Who likes honey? Can I see some of your honey? We see honey. This is a jar of our honey. Honey is very healthy, and it is one of the very few things that does not degrade. It can stay around for years and years and years. And you will stay healthy, and you won't get sick. And then we can stay alive. Do you like and, honey? And, and then, and then we can stay alive. Yeah. And then we can stay alive. Callie, do you like honey? Yes. Do you have honey every day? Yeah. Honey and is and very healthy. And you that is when the queen can't. Queen can die. Okay. Like our honeybees. Bye bye, Miss McIntyre's class.